Yeah, we've had finished, yeah, we've yeah. had this dream uh, since uh, 1991. Correct. And I think you got involved, if I remember correctly, maybe about 1993. <laughs> and you came to see me in my office and tried to convince me to join Algeria. Yeah. And I said, well, you, need, you owe me a favor, so you should go to Argentina to the meeting in Bariloche. Oh, that's right. And that, that was uh, January of 1995. Yeah, and you came to Bariloche, and really that was the beginning mm -hmm. of the possibility of Argentina yeah, being yeah, a real yeah. potential site for Roger. Yeah, I remember uh, I landed at Zeza, and I took the bus across to Aero Parque, and I was met by the two Albertos, Echigoshin yeah. and Filevich. In order to identify them, they were wearing a T-shirt with Fermilab. Eventually, there was a meeting in UNESCO in 95, November uh, 95. November of 95 in UNESCO. I should point out that we used UNESCO to good advantage when we were doing the the for seed money for workshops yeah, and things UNESCO like that. Yeah, UNESCO gave us a significant grant. Yeah to yeah. help us initiate the project, yeah. and especially because it was an international project. Yeah. And maybe you can remind me of all the traveling you did all over the world. No, so I, I can't I can't. It wasn't remember. the best of your times, really. I, I, well, I would say, you know, a project like this has a high visibility, and you have to convince the leaders, political leaders of the various uh, countries, because this project did not begin in a laboratory. We had to create the collaboration, make our own rules, and it's in some sense was grassroots type of activity because there are scientists in uh, all the different countries who wanted to do it. Yeah, and the interesting thing is that there is no, no country dominates a project that is another That's project. right. And I remember that there was mud and nothing here, and then there was this wonderful gift from the University of Chicago. Yeah, that's that this building here. Yeah, build this wonderful building. Yeah. And yeah, but you remember the first building, the first two buildings right. were built by the uh, province of Mendoza, the fluorescence at Los Leones, and the uh, assembly building. Maybe you can uh, remind me. We have like 16 countries already, but as we started to do physics, that we started doing in January of this year, there were other countries at present joining the project. Other countries, like uh, ne Netherlands, and uh, yeah. Well, that that hasn't come to fruition to uh, yet. I, I, yeah, there may be a few. What's more noticeable is within the countries already in the project, there are new groups that want to join. I, I think that uh, if I can go back in history a little bit, why uh, this all began, and why do we need such a big uh, observatory? And uh, how I, big is it? It is 3,000 square kilometers of surface. And then there are four specialized telescopes around the edge. But the point is that nature provides or has coming raining down on us particles, protons probably, iron nuclei, elementary particles of enormous energies. I mean, it's hard to imagine as much energy in a single proton as uh, one would have in you, the usual analogy is a hard hit tennis ball or taking a lead brick and dropping it to the floor, that amount of kinetic energy. But, and so you don't understand it all and how do you, how can you possibly understand it? The only way is to do an experiment. But to do an experiment uh, with these kinds of things requires a huge area. Let's just, you, you know the figure, I'll just remind you that it's one of these particles per square kilometer per century of the very highest energy ones. This is the most exciting thing that I've ever been involved in. Genuinely, I'm not just saying this for this uh, and uh, so business. And so you think the results will be exciting? Well, that's up to nature. I think what you have to do is, uh, is, which is what we've done, you build a piece of apparatus that can measure well every aspect of the cosmic rays. And then you have to wait and see what you find. I think it will be exceem extremely exciting. Well, I wouldn't be here half the year. If the, I wouldn't expect it to be yeah. interesting. Nor, nor have uh, you know, 250 yeah, other physicists. In fact, that's what I really amazes me, is the kind of quality of physicists we've attracted. And you know why it is, I think, it's because this is a challenging scientific project. It's a mystery we know nothing about. What better scientific project could you have? And, and do you think we will find the sources of this yes. eventually with the data? I think so. I, yes, yes.